just that he's he's not up to it right now. I'm sorry to hear that. Uh, what is it, the flu? No, no, no. It's it's a little more serious than that, and I'm pretty worried about him right now. Well, of course I asked you to kill your brother. You have no idea of how expensive it is to job it out. Dear mother, always looking at the bottom line. You know, it wouldn't, it wouldn't cost you anything to keep him alive. Oh, no, 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 no. He was a liability. Stefano would have understood that. Really? I thought family was everything to him. Well, he liked to play pater familias, but he was beneficent, especially when his children were squarely under his thumb. But he would have been ruthless with Andre. Andre had a, well, a fatal flaw. Which was? Adult onset sentiment. It was eating at him like a cancer. I'm just so glad that Stefano didn't have to see what happened to him. He was becoming nice. Therefore, had to go? Had to go. I mean, I saw him wanting to come clean. If he'd done that, we would have lost everything, ended up in jail. But he's dead. And we are safe. No, no, we're not safe at all. I just had the same nightmare. Like, the same that when I, when I walked in and I saw Andre's body, and then I just really felt like he was going to tell me who killed him, and then he was he was getting ready to say it, and then he woke me up. Well, you're probably having these nightmares because it's just you're having a hard time letting him go. At least we think we know who killed him. Wow. It's too bad. Looks like it would have been really, really nice. It is going to be really, really nice. But there's not going to be any wedding because I intend to sue you both for false arrest. And you're going to go broke defending yourselves, and there won't be a red set left no, for any way. There was no false arrest. Your parents, both of them, lied to us. Mm -hmm. They obstructed justice. Gary, their security footage.